the furniture, fixtures, and equipment, hundred thousand dollars worth of movie trucks, which is that's kind of good. But they're selling a a, a, a company for two hundred fifty thousand dollars when it has FF&E of one one hundred five thousand. So essentially, you can just take the business, sell everything, and you're just still on the hook for one hundred forty five thousand. It's ugh, I don't know. This, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just the numbers don't make sense, at least to me. Uh, so it's been established. I like to look for things that's been established for more than five years. So that's uh, 2011. So obviously it's doing good. It's been around for 12, 11, 12 years. Uh, absentee business. This is the person that owns it. Uh, let me see if this person is selling it to themselves. Is this owned by a broker, listed by a broker? Either they don't know how to evaluate businesses or this is underpriced. This has 28 employees, full-time, part-time. This is too cheap. It's absentee. This is this is too cheap. I don't know. It, it don't sound too good to be. It, it's almost sound too good to be true. You could almost take this that's producing 300. So, so you have your, okay. You have your asking price. You have your cash flow. Cash flow is everything you make after all your employees are paid. So you have your gross revenue, right? So your employee cost should be somewhere in the range 35, maybe 45% margins, mm -hmm. 28 employees, but they're full-time. Some are full-time, some are part-time. I would take, if it's doing that, I would take a half a million divided by 25, or I do it by full-time and part-time. Part-time employees or anything less than 30 hours off the top of my head? This is kind of hard. The part-time employees kind of throwing the numbers off. You have eight, you have 12 full-time employees. I can tell you what the average person should be making in New York City. You can just look that stuff up and you can kind of do the math. Just do that. Uh your 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 execution plan or what you need to do on this. You need to look up what eight full-time employees, what a full-time employee makes in New York City. I say, I don't know, 50,000, 50 times eight. 40, 400,000. So and do 20 times 25. We'll say another 200. So that's $600,000 just in employee cost. Oh, that's a lot. So then you have another $300,000 left, maybe $400,000 left in, in truck maintenance, gas, and stuff like that. The gross revenue versus employee cost versus cash flow, that makes sense. The asking price don't. Mm. This is super undervalued, man. Mm. This is super. If these numbers are right, and there's no hiccups, but we're going to get to some other stuff, right? 